Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that has fascinated astronomers and stargazers alike. The mysterious and potentially explosive future of the red supergiant star, Betelgeuse. New images have shown that Betelgeuse has completely dimmed and is very unstable, raising questions about whether it might be on the brink of a spectacular supernova. Let's explore what this means and what we might expect to see. Astronomer Brian Cox once said, it could be shocking, it would shine like a second sun because it's only 600 light years away and it could be tomorrow. Betelgeuse, the massive red supergiant star in the constellation Orion, has captivated humanity for centuries. Its recent behavior has been particularly intriguing. Researchers around the world are eagerly awaiting what could be a once in a lifetime event. Betelgeuse exploding in a brilliant supernova. So, what exactly is happening with Betelgeuse and why is it causing such a buzz in the scientific community? In late 2019 and early 2020, Betelgeuse, one of the brightest stars in the night sky, suddenly became much dimmer. This event was so noticeable that even people who aren't astronomers could see the difference. Scientists called this unusual phenomenon the Great Dimming Event. When Betelgeuse dimmed, many people wondered if the star was about to explode in a supernova. A supernova is a huge explosion that happens when a star reaches the end of its life. Since Betelgeuse is a red supergiant nearing the end of its life, the sudden dimming sparked a lot of excitement and speculation. But why did Betelgeuse dim so dramatically? At first, no one knew for sure. Some scientists thought the star might be going through some changes inside that would lead to an explosion. However, after careful study, researchers found a different explanation, a massive ejection of dust. Here's what likely happened. Betelgeuse is a very old and very large star. As stars like Betelgeuse age, they go through a lot of turbulent activity. This can include a burping out large amounts of gas and dust into space. Think of it like a volcano erupting and sending ash into the sky. In the case of Betelgeuse, the star ejected a huge cloud of dust. This dust then moved in front of the star, blocking some of its light from reaching Earth. To us, it looked like the star had dimmed significantly, but in reality, the star itself was still shining as brightly as before. It was just hidden behind this cloud of dust. Imagine if you were looking at a street lamp through a thick fog. The street lamp is still just as bright, but the fog makes it look much dimmer. This is similar to what happened with Betelgeuse. Scientists confirmed this by using various telescopes and instruments to study the star and the area around it. They observed that the light from Betelgeuse had a slightly different colour than usual, which is a clue that dust was in the way. They also noticed that after a few months, the star started to brighten again as the dust cloud moved away. So, the great dimming event was caused by a massive ejection of dust from Betelgeuse, temporarily blocking some of its light from reaching us. This event helped scientists learn more about the behaviour of ageing stars and reminded us that even in our own galaxy, there are still many mysteries to uncover. Quote from Brian Cox. As astrophysicist, Brian Cox announces, we will see a light so dazzlingly bright for a few moments that it will look like a second sun during the day. What happens when Betelgeuse explodes? When Betelgeuse finally goes supernova, the event will be visible from Earth with the naked eye. For a few moments, it will shine brighter than the entire galaxy, and even weeks later, the remnants of the supernova will still be visible. But predicting exactly when this will happen is challenging. On a cosmic scale, soon could mean tomorrow or a hundred thousand years from now. The crazy thing is, Betelgeuse could have already exploded, and we wouldn't know it yet. Since Betelgeuse is 600 light years away, the light from the supernova would take 600 years to reach us. This delay underscores the vast dimensions of the universe and the fascinating nature of astronomical observations. In March 2024, the American Association of Variable Star Observers reported another dip in Betelgeuse's brightness. Researchers have been anxiously monitoring this dimming, hoping it might indicate the star is nearing its explosive end. However, this dimming was found to be a direct after-effect of the great dimming event of 2019 and 2020. Brand new studies and simulations from astronomers at the Max Planck Institute for Astrophysics suggest that Betelgeuse's turbulent surface activity 
could create optical illusions. This means that changes in brightness might not always indicate an impending supernova, but rather the complex dynamics of the star's surface. One fascinating theory about Betelgeuse is that it might be the result of two smaller stars merging. If true, this could explain some of its unusual characteristics, such as its rapid rotation and high concentration of heavy elements like nitrogen in its atmosphere. In a simulation, astronomers showed that such a merger would disrupt the internal material of the newly formed star and push heavy elements to the surface, accelerating the star's rotation. However, other studies suggest that the perceived fast rotation could be a misinterpretation, resulting from the star's surface activities. These conflicting theories highlight the challenges scientists face in understanding Betelgeuse's true state. Despite these uncertainties, one thing is clear. Betelgeuse is in a late stage of its development. Scientists believe it is currently undergoing the carbon burning phase, which typically lasts about 1,000 years. Once this phase ends, Betelgeuse could explode within decades, rather than millennia as originally thought. Betelgeuse holds a special place in human history. It is one of the brightest stars in the constellation Orion and has been observed and revered by various cultures for centuries. Ancient Egyptians and Mesopotamians recorded its brilliance, and in the Middle Ages, astronomers like Ptolemy described it in their star catalogues. The systematic study of Betelgeuse began in the 16th and 17th centuries with the advent of better telescopes. Galileo Galilei was among the first to observe its brightness fluctuations. In the 20th century, the development of spectroscopy allowed scientists to analyse its chemical composition, revealing that Betelgeuse was a red supergiant in its late evolutionary stages. With the Hubble Space Telescope and advanced technologies like interferometry, astronomers have been able to observe Betelgeuse's surface activity in unprecedented detail. Recent high-resolution images show irregular surface activity and huge convection cells, providing clues about the star's instability. Supernovae have been observed throughout history, often misunderstood by early astronomers. The first documented supernova was observed by Chinese astronomers in 185 AD. In 1572, Tycho Brahe recorded a supernova, and in 1604, Johannes Kepler witnessed another, helping to reshape our understanding of the cosmos. So, while we eagerly watch and wait for Betelgeuse to explode, we continue to learn more about this fascinating star and the universe it inhabits. The potential for Betelgeuse to go supernova offers a unique opportunity for astronomers and stargazers alike to witness one of the most dramatic events in the cosmos. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos about the wonders of the universe. Until next time, keep looking up at the stars and dreaming big.